My name is Ryan Tarrant, freelance journalist for some snowmobiling, boating, and other outdoor adventure activities. And while everybody's excited about the new Skidoo line, the 900 Turbo line, I wanted to take some time to introduce you to the new BRP Oxygen Helmet. We'll start with the visor. First of all, it is 40% higher than the BVS2 helmet. The viewing area is a true 180 degree peripheral vision. When you're wearing this helmet, it because you're viewing such a large area, it hardly feels like you're wearing a helmet. Obviously it's an electric shield. The only frosting I've seen on this helmet is around the outside edge of the helmet. This tab is very easy to open the helmet and put it into whatever position you'd like. One thing I did find is I wish this tab, which is opaque, was actually clear. I was riding down the lake at night with snowmobiles behind me and it was snow starting to snow fairly heavily and I needed to spot the shore, I needed to open my visor. If this had been clear, I would have been able to put it in a position where it stopped all wind and snow hitting me in the eyes and I could have still been able to look out of here. The electricity to this large heated visor is through this hinge mechanism, which is a heated visor connector. Now there's no wires, visible wires here that are moving. It is connected through the actual hinge. Very simple, less pieces to break. The visor has a very simple seal system that worked quite well for me. I did not experience any wind entering my face. Gone are the mouthpieces. In place is a simple wind deflection nose guard. And there are two vents, one on either side. Very simple, very easy to use. The electricity enters the helmet through this really cool new magnetic E-link. Simply magnetizes to the back of the helmet. The cord then wraps around the collar of your coat. It has a clip which clips onto your tether cord clip on your jacket or your snow pants, which I hope you're using for your tether cord every time you ride anyways. And it has a controller which varies the heat to both the heated shield and also to the sunglass lens, the flip down sunglass lens, I guess I call it, um, or a sun visor. And so the pocket where the sun visor is, is also heated. So if it did happen to get any frost or fog, you can flip it up into the pocket and it will be warmed. Riders, test riders have said that the heat in this helmet from the visors actually you, you could notice the heat in the helmet as well. The new BRP Oxygen Helmet also comes with a noise control system, a series of different inserts which you can put in behind your ears. It is effective and you can also choose what level of noise you want to experience. Obviously those cavities offer space for headphones or Bluetooth sets as well and it's quite comfortable. These do somewhat adjust the fit of the helmet, so make sure you take your favorite balaclava with you and ensure that you get the right fit when you... Another neat feature is this skirt, which is built into the helmet. Fits very well into a jacket. Uh, feels like it's waterproof, don't know for sure. I did ride in some rain with it. I didn't experience any wetness or moisture. The buckle is a quick release easy to use and you can see in the inside of the helmet it if you can see in the side of the helmet it actually looks like a bicycle helmet and for us spring riders Scudo have also integrated an area where we can simply slide our sunglasses through and have our sunglasses inside of our helmet it also has a built-in LED tail light which is activated through the e-link I have been searching for a new, effective, simple, full-faced helmet for many years now, and I do believe I've found it. 
Thank you BRP for allowing me to test and report on this new oxygen helmet. Look for it at dealers this fall. Random Ryan, over and out.